Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Cavaliers storm through round two, going on a rampage, sweeping in four straight victories. With plenty of rest and now looking for a conference title, they face a new adversary as they go up against the New York Knicks. The Eastern Conference Finals, coming up next. For these two teams, two rounds down, two to go. The battle for the Eastern Conference continues. Game one of the Conference Finals. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the small four. And for Cleveland, they've got Mitchell. Andres Harrell is out there with the chosen one. Then there's Kevin Porter. And it's Allen in at the center. Take a look at the Cavaliers. Fresh and rested after sweeping their last series in the conference semifinals. Ray, can they continue with that momentum? Well, Kevin, every series is different. And the time off could affect their rhythm or create rust. But the expectation is that they'll pretty swiftly pick up where they left off. And so off the tip, it's New York. So the first quarter now underway as we begin the Eastern Conference Finals. Brunson against Porter. Stolen by Mitchell. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. And here he slams it in. I always wonder about those bigger guys, how much easier a read is like that. And Allen finds the open guy set up to shoot it. Brunson against Porter. Robinson a screen on Porter. Now here's Brunson. Defense is right there. That shot, no good. Here's Harold. Passed him in from outside the arc. Even Shenzo with the rebound. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Randall. That's the DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. Robinson a screen on Mitchell. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Here's Manning. Brunson cover. Oh, yes, sir. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Now here's Randall. To the middle. Porter with the steal. He kicks to here. Fires from 14. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Harrell trying to improve that mid-range. Lots of teams decide to back up off of him. Knocks that one down. Porter with the steal. And here comes the break. Harrell with it. Oh, hammering it in! Now that's a little something extra from Montrez. 146 left in the first quarter of the game. Even Chenzo passes to Brunson. To end the drought. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Manning and the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Timeout, timeout. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Are giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure.
look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Josh Hart, third. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. 119 left to play in the first quarter. Here's McBride, guarded by Porter. Outside Robinson, pass to Randall. Five on the clock. To end the run. Yes, that goes in. Finally, after all those planks, someone comes through for him. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. Porter passes to Man. The kick out to Porter from deep. Randall grabs the board. Knicks trail by eight and stolen by Harold. And Harold puts it in. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Burks can't get it to go. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. There's Harrell. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. The swing intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Burks, the pass to Randall. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Well, Randall finding out some creative ways how to score on the inside, becoming smarter and more adept at doing so. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. Cavaliers lead by 10. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. This is the Eastern Conference Final. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmarish clamps thus far. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Achua is out there with Hartenstein. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Brunson in at the point guard position. Harold stingy on defense right there. Active hands. And that helps them get off to the fast break. Jalen Brunson. His first personal first team foul. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Kevin Porter Jr. One shot. He throw good order and one of those guys who fell in the draft the year he came out due to injury Porter healed up and has taken the lead by stone Bogdanovich wide open a three-pointer is right on target Bogdanovich has got his first three points of the game that was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter but starting to show signs of life and that one's good by Porter this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Porter against Brunson. Bogdanovich left side. Six to shoot. Fires the three. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Brunson. Porter against Hart. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Three-pointer. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists in the game. 
both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And here is Hart. Still scoreless. Puts up a deep three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And Harrell with it. And Harrell shoots it in. Uh, he gets really excited about finishing through contact. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for New York. 15-point game. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Julius Randle comes in for Achua. On an OB, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jalen Brunson. DiVincenzo finds Hart. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Harrell. The Cavaliers leading by 15. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. New York shooting their first free throw of the night here. Shooting for New York. Julius Randle at the line for one. And that one misses. And Randle just continuing to fight out there, whether you're looking at his career. Any individual game, this guy just doesn't back down. Next trail by 15. That's the three fly. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding. DiVincenzo kicks to Randall. the wing and an Obi. He is defended by Harrell. Robinson sets a screen for Randall. And the Knicks miss again. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Harrell dishes to Allen. Robinson with the block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Robinson. Jalen Brunson. He just jumped in for Hart. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Knicks trail by 15. Rando passes to Brunson. Now here's Hananobi. Rando surveying the D. Back to Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. Robinson sets a screen for Ananobi. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Stolen by Brunson. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Second, second team foul. Shooting for New York. Free throw, no good for Brunson. Well, the lefty listed at six foot one, Jalen Brunson, is a bit of a different matchup. He's just so physical, and he can play on and off the ball. Where I call it funky. And so it's Cleveland. Finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau. Tibbs, some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? better defense you know we keep allowing them to get second shots defensive transition not challenging their shots properly so if we don't play defense we can't win and we'll see if your guys can stick to the script better in the second half coach thanks back to you guys thanks david and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway Hey everybody, it's halftime of game one and a big lead right now. 
for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, they understand what they do well and what this other team doesn't do well. And they're creating matchups to exploit that. This what the Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers. The conference finals. Big fella, do you expect these teams to pull out all the stops? That would be correct, Amanda Arnie. That's right. No minute restrictions. Let the stars shine tonight. You have to. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. You know, guys, Montrez Harrell has been exceptional here. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters, just disrupting everything. Yeah, and that's exactly what he wanted to do out there. Everyone he guarded looked uncomfortable. And the Mitchell is out there at Porter. And there's Jared Allen. Then there's Harrell. And it's Manning in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. New York moving the ball around. Runs in a screen on Allen. No one near Randall as he lets it go. And the three off target. Cleveland leading by 17. Here's Manning. Misses the three. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Banked in off the glass. Brunson's got five now. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. Well, Cleveland shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Here's Manning, and that one is stuffed right through. Man, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. In it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Brunson against Porter. Hit the teardrop. Brunson, no good. Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Manning with the bucket. He's got eight. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's the pass to DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. Hit by Randall. Brunson kicks to Randall. Off target with his three. Cleveland leading by 19 points. Here's Manning. Connects from three-point range. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Quarter against Brunson. One thirty-two left here in the third quarter. Robinson sets a screen for Ananobi. Stolen by Allen. Here's Manning. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. New York calls timeout. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. So for the Knicks, Hartenstein comes in for Mitchell Robinson, and Hart subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Hart against Allen. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. For Cleveland, they've gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Here's Manning. Knicks with the rebound. Now, Ananobi. No scoring in this one. Now, here's DiVincenzo. And Ananobi slams it in. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Catching up on the changes for New York. Achua, he's checked in for Randall. Bogdanovich comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Dante DiVincenzo. Uh, you heard the whistle, but Brunson played right through it. He'll knock it down. At the top of the key, Mitchell. Takes the three. It's good from long range. 20 points for the chosen one. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Cavaliers on top. Running away with this one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Now it's here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Settle down. Okay? Score, stop, score. That's all we have to do right here. Now we're spread out. Now the ball's going anywhere. We got to get control of the ball. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, they've got Hartenstein, Josh Hart out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's Brunson in at the point. Stretching the floor now, Bogdanovich can hurt defenses from there. The Cavaliers leading by 22. Quarter outside, another three for Cleveland. And they're getting their point. now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Porter against Brunson. Passes it to Achua. Basket counts. And, and they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the unpredictable nature of Mitchell it is hard to game plan against, especially when he drives. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Cavaliers. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. From downtown, here's Allen. It's rebounded by New York. On an Obi, count it. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And here's Mitchell from the arc. It's rebounded by Ananobi. New York's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Up top, DiVincenzo. Out to Brunson. Four on the shot clock. Here's the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. An incredible job, Brunson, just measuring off that floater. Porter against Brunson. Here is Porter. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. 
It's good. The basket, he's now five for nine. Poetry in motion. Porter with a beautiful stroke rising up there from mid-range. Brunson against Porter. Brunson kicks to Randall. Now, here's Ananobi. Guarded closely. Randall a screen on Mitchell. Puts up a deep three. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Cleveland leading by 23. Man, if ever there were a way to kick off the NBA Conference Finals, this is it. Going to be a table-setting victory here in game one for Cleveland. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they want. And they open these conference finals with a forceful performance to take the early lead in the series. Yeah, they, they talked about sending a message here in game one, and no doubt about it, they delivered that message loud and clear. It's obvious who has the upper hand going forward in this series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for the chosen one. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. And Mitchell drops him both. And we've seen Mitchell go up against much larger defenders throughout his career. And the reason he makes it look so easy is because of that 6'10 wingspan. Keep in mind, he stands at 6'1", but that's incredible length at his height. It's Brunson, top of the key. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. New York needs to get off a shot, and Robinson throws it down. And vision such a key part of Brunson's game as the point. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brunson against Porter. Shot clock at six. They get it again. Harold got it. Good job in the low post. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going. Fully on display here. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Montrez. Monster defensive effort tonight. What were you able to take away from them? Uh, and we got in the airspace. We didn't let them get anything easy. Every time somebody caught the ball behind the three-point line, we made sure that we had our heels above the line and made them drive the ball. We was talking at a high level of communication all night, and they did a great job on both ends of the floor, really. Uh, you were certainly connected defensively, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, the chosen one.
Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Cavaliers come in off a critical game one win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the New York Knicks. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2K Sports broadcast of the Eastern Conference Finals. Game two coming up. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers here in Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. And a look at the starters for the Knicks. Randallin Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three slot. And for the Cavaliers, Montrez Harrell is out there with Jared Allen. Then there's Mitchell. Then there's Kevin Porter. And it's the chosen one in its small forward. You look at the Cavaliers, and with a win in game one, they have an opportunity to put the hammer down tonight. Yeah, this would be a big step toward the finals. To take a 2-0 lead tonight with two more games left on their home court would put them in terrific position. The tip, it is New York. DiVincenzo, pass to Robinson. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Here's Randall. Just five on the clock. And yep, it's good. And Randall is a gamer. Someone who's experienced in overcoming intense coverage from this area of the floor. Here's Porter. And it's rejected. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brunson. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Here's Allen. Shoots over Robinson. Allen can't get it to go. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid lane. Randall is screen on Porter. Here's Brunson. Cavaliers with a rebound. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Manning shot is good. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Brunson. Porter pulls it in. The Cavaliers have gone one for three so far. Here's Manning driving to the basket, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. 
And the big fella with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. And here's New York now. It's a three-point game. Brunson passes to Randall. Outside Ananobi. Back to Randall. Robinson, a screen on Harrell. Six to shoot for three. Randall, the rebound by Manning. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Looking to win the run. And that one's good. Brunson with a sixth sense. I mean, always knows where his teammates are. 146 left in the first quarter. And here's Porter outside. Here's Harold. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Brunson against Porter. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Fast break. Cleveland launches it. Offensive rebound. Manning's shot is good. Manning's got nine. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out and win here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Brunson. That one doesn't drop. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. I see you, Mr. Mitchell. Now look, for a 6-1 guard, this man can absolutely fly. Porter against Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Randall outside. Robinson finds Brunson. Now here's Ananobi. Here's DiVincenzo. Just five to shoot. And the Knicks miss again. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. You can't allow any space. Here's Manning. Ananobi covering. Second chance shot. And Allen lays it in. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. They trail by 11. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Robinson, a screen on Mitchell. Will it go? Robinson gets the bucket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Back after this. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. And what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. Jared Allen out there with Montrez Harrell. Then there's Kevin Porter. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's the chosen one in at the small forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Brunson. Still no points. Achua with a screen on Porter. High arcing shot. And Achua with a lay-in. You know, there aren't many players who are more efficient in the pick and roll than Jalen Brunson. I mean, he has mastered that set. Pass to Manning. Assisting on the play was Porter. Manning's got 11. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Hardenstein in the post. Allen defending. Second shot opportunity. And he makes it. McBride's got his first two points of the night. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Puts up a deep three. Offensive board. Allen, pass to Mitchell. Mitchell, double team. Shots blocked. 
And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. So for the Knicks, Ananobi, he's checked in for Achua. And it's DiVincenzo in for McBride. Not known as a quick shooter, but Allen shows what he's got there. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home! Oh, man, and that is why Mitchell has won a dunk contest before. He knows how to get a few style points. Runs it against Porter. Back to Hart. From downtown, drills it from deep. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. The Cavaliers have gone four for six here in the second. Porter from outside. And Ananobi pulls it down. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Pass to Brunson. 151 left to play in the first half. Another one falls for New York.
And you just can't let Brunson get to his spots. I mean, he's an excellent mid-range shooter. Here's Manning. And an OB covering. Manning's shot is good. Manning's got four points this quarter. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Now a timeout called by New York. He's checked in for New York. Julius Randle comes in for Jalen Brunson. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Ananobi. Takes the three. Gets the three ball to go. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Ananobi against Garland. Here's Iguodala. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Iguodala's got his first three points of the game. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. Be fun to see if they can keep it up. Randall inside. Covered by Mobley. Randall can't hit for Cleveland. They've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Yep, count it. Iguodala's got five points in the quarter. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Brunson has checked in for Hart. Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Garland against DiVincenzo. Iguodala outside. And the Cavaliers, another three. That score in this first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. DiVincenzo against Walker. Robinson, a screen on Walker. Pass to Brunson. Over Garland. The three, DiVincenzo. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. And just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. He knew exactly how he wanted to do it, too. There was no doubt in his mind that it was going to fall. And we finished off one half a play. The Cavaliers on top. They lead by 13. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Coach, this first half has been a struggle. What's been the problem? Lack of intensity. We're back on our heels. They're attacking us. We're not getting much done. Guys, they'll look to be the aggressor in the second half. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. One place that they're losing ground is on the backboard. And it's not that they've been terrible. They've just been simply outworked. You know what it's called, Ernie? Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers, they did what they needed to in game one. Got it. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half. And welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals presented by 2K Sports. for the Cavaliers. So on the floor for New York, Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the three. Now here's Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Back to Brunson. A 
again. The Knicks. Good for two more. The lefty getting it to go. <laughs> Jalen Brunson once again. Porter finds Iguodala from the wing. They get it back. Goes back up. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. That's good from Harrell. Some scouts wondered about Harrell's fit as a modern big, but every night you see the commitment and the hustle, and his energy is just infectious. Now here's Brunson. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Launches the three. No good. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. They set a physical tone early on, and they're being rewarded for their efforts. Basket counts. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. And here's Brunson from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. Oh, Robinson with a block. DiVincenzo with the steal. We're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Ananobi against Porter. Pass to Randall. Shot clock at six. Robinson, a screen on Iguodala. For three, Randall. Iguodala with some nice D. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. From deep, Mitchell knocks it down from distance. Mitchell's got his third bucket of the night. There's cash. Mitchell is a fucking three-point shooter for a reason now. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. impressive shooters in the game. Here are the guys who have been hitting with consistency from outside the arc. And you look at Mitchell, he is downright lethal from distance, ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. And of course, Kevin Porter, just two spots behind. These guys have delivered from beyond the arc in a big way here in the postseason, stepping up and embracing the spotlight. Here's Manning. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. There's the three. It's rebounded by New York. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Brunson finds Robinson. For three, DiVincenzo. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Manning. Outside for Porter. Pass to Harrell. From deep, Mitchell. Yes. And it's Harrell with the assist. Mitchell has got six in the quarter. They're really fighting a losing battle on the glass. Robinson passes to Ananobi. Back to Robinson. They still need this. That shot missing. Good D by Harold. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. They need timeout, something timeout. good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now a timeout called by New York. A big group substitution here for New York. Hardenstein. He's checked in for Robinson. Josh Hart comes in for Ananobi. Burks, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And Milton subbed in for Brunson. Randall outside. Third quarter action. And just under three and a half minutes have passed. And a 
again. The Knicks missing. And here comes Cleveland. Right now on a 14-0 run. Manning passes to Harrell from the arc. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Harrell. Harrell's got three assists tonight. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Randall left side. Can't hit the step back, Jay. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back with you shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Montrez Harrell, Mitchell out there with Kevin Porter. Then it's Andre Iguodala, and it's the chosen one. In at the three, the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Hart finds Bogdanovich. Drops in the three. Bogdanovich has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Outside Porter. Fires from deep. Fires in the triple. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Outside Brunson. He can't get it to go. Great D that time for Porter. And Cleveland shooting it around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Iguodala's shot is good. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Here's Hartenstein. Brunson passes to Hart. Pass to Achua. Achua with the dunk. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Up top, Porter. Fires it from 18. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. And shots like this help Porter Jr. get into a rhythm. Connecting off the catch only helps his confidence. From the baseline. And it's New York with another. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Porter looks it over. Pass to Manning. Over Hart. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. When you've got a small guy on you, you just have to take advantage of it. Nice, easy jumper for him. With the floater. Brunson misses. And so Porter will bring it up for Cleveland. Mitchell with the ball. Now guarded by Achua. Iguodala inside. Achua's there. Here's Manning. It's rebounded by New York. The rebound by Manning. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And game two of the conference finals is always so important. What a great win this is for the Cavaliers. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. Another statement win here in these conference finals. They look like they're in complete control and want to finish this series as quickly as possible. But at the same time, it's important that they don't get too ahead of themselves. We've seen teams come back from 2-0 deficits before, so it's important they maintain this momentum moving ahead. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for the chosen one. And let's just say this, the name of the game is scoring, and yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. They get the rebound. Outside for Mitchell. From deep three-point land. Here's Harold. And 
Finally, that one's good. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Now here's Achua. Outside Bogdanovich. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, you can feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Seventeen seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Randall against Higadala. Five on the clock. Here's Brunson. The bank shot. No good. From deep three-point range. Offline. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in the series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now our New Balance Player of the Game. Conference Finals. The Cavaliers come into Game 3 up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the New York Knicks. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Eastern Conference Finals action. Poi and a 2-0 series thus far. Who will take Game 3? We're going to find out here. Live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA playoffs. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Look at Cleveland's starting group. we got the chosen one. Carroll is out there with Allen. Then there's Kevin Porter. And it's Mitchell in a shooting guard and for the Knicks. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. You look at the Knicks. Down to none. They got a win tonight to get some traction in the series. And if they lose this one, you can forget about advancing. It's more likely you're trying to avoid a sweep. So tonight's all or nothing. Cleveland will get the first possession. Over to the left wing. Here's Manning. And he uses the glass on the layup. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Brunson, good. 
Yeah, don't be fooled by the height, guys. Brunson is a terrific finisher inside. Quarter passes to men. Good, a nice assist from Porter. Manning's got his second bucket tonight. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Cleveland with the ball. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Randall. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. This is a demand. There's the three, and the three ball is good. Manning's got seven points in the game. Next have gone two or three here to start out the game. Randall against Terrell. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Cleveland. Or Cleveland, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And the pass to Man. Here's Allen. The kick out to Porter. Mitchell outside. Rocket six. In the NBA, there is a high need for relentless scoring and skill to match that scoring. That is Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Drops them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. On the wing, Ananobi. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. That's good for Mitchell on the assist by Harold. He's got five. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Pass to Brunson. One thirty left to play in the first, and that one hits back iron. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question, he altered that shot, and most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Here's Porter, good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. They'll come off a real tough loss on Wednesday. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. leader with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Donovan
That shooting percentage of his has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. He has been completely locked in. One oh six left in the first quarter. Here's Hart. It's deflected. Here's Manning. Defended by Hart. Manning can't get it to go. Knicks trail by 10. It's stolen by Allen. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And Harold slams it in. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, Julius Randle has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. It's Porter outside. They grab their own miss. Allen passes to Harrell. Cleveland moving it around. Shot clock at six. Pass to Manning. A second chance effort with the drive. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got four assists now tonight. Randall outside. Over Harrell. Randall with the bucket. Boy, when we talk about guys taking that step, improving their game, Julius Randall, the example of this. He worked so hard on that jump shot. And so it's Cleveland with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be right back after this. And here we go, heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Cavaliers. And guys, I love the movement, doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. You've got Boyan Bogdanovich. Achua is out there with Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the pivot, manning the middle. That's the five for New York right now. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Here's Manning. It's good. That basket is now five for nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Bogdanovich. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the night. Wow, how about that feathery touch from Bogdanovich? You just can't let this guy get the oh, oh, oh. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. That one drops for him. Hart's got his first two points. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Hartenstein. He is defended by Harold. Hartenstein passes to Achua. Fires for three. Hart, no good. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Harold setting the pick for Porter. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Porter's got five now. And each year, Porter just becomes more efficient and more deadly. Here's Harold. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got assist number five here tonight. Dead eye shooting from them this quarter. On deep, Brunson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. There's a minute 40 left to play here in the half. Puts up a deep three. Manning can't get it to go. 
And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. So, New York going with almost an entire new group. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Ando comes in for Achua. OG Ananobi's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jalen Brunson. Cleveland also making some changes. Thompson, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Oldboy comes in for Harold. And Zigudala in for the chosen one. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. Good night. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Mitchell kicks to Porter. Here's Thompson. And finally they hit one. And the Cavaliers lead by 17. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Even Genzo passes to Randall over Mobile. Randall no good. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 17-point lead, their biggest. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Hart. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Porter against DiVincenzo. And it's sent back by Mitchell. How about the defense from Donovan Mitchell? This has not been a strong suit, but send it back, DM. Here's Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Porter's got five points now in the quarter. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Cavaliers ahead. 33. Ending the second quarter on a 15-6 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? We're playing a low-energy game. we got to get into the ball. Our ball pressure has to be a lot better. Got to challenge shots, so we're playing low energy on offense. I sense the theme. Energy seems to be a problem. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Greetings, everybody. Game three. Man, it's a huge lead for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, you can tell these guys are on the same page. They're communicating well. Each guy has his role and isn't trying to go outside of that, Jack. Yeah, and those are the best teams to play on. Everyone feels like they're contributing. But each guy is sticking to what he does well. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series, they're watching this series slip through their fingers. The first half, not the effort they were hoping for. Oh, it's not looking great, but you can't give up. I mean, you never know. Ball till you fall. If it's me, I'm not quitting. You got to carry me out, Kenny. Better bring a forklift. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. We're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. Look at the chosen one. He's been playing really well. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. You get the sense when there's big-time performances to be had, this guy wants to take part. You expect that this is a trend that will continue here. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter is out there with Mitchell. And there's Igud Allen. And it's Thompson. And it's Mobley in at the power forward position. Shots good by Igud Allen. Well, Igud Allen gets himself squared up before shooting. You can't give him that kind of space. Randall surveying the D. Kevin 
Cavaliers with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Handle a screen on Mitchell. Here's Brunson. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Mitchell. The Knicks pull it in. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. OG Ananobi is tremendously athletic. And when he plays with this level of aggression, it's hard not to foul him. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That's good from Ananobi. So he gets them both. Cleveland leading by 18. Quarter outside. Good on the three-point shot. Porter's got 10 points in the game. Nice pull up, Jay, there by Porter. Keeping the defense on their toes and striking fast. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. The chosen one comes in for Donovan Mitchell. And it's Garland in for Porter. Knicks trail by 21. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Randall against Mobley. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got his third bucket of the night. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Mobley trying to free himself up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Now this is exactly the kind of aggression from Darius Garland that changes the feel of the game, just works his way inside, and forces the defense to foul. And New York making a change here. Hart's checked in. He hits both from the strike. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Two minutes Brunson kicks to Robinson. Hart the pass to Robinson. Here's Brunson. Let's it go with a three. And it's Igudala with the rebound. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Manning with the bucket. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Oh, what a dunk! Oh, Look Ooh. out below! Ooh. Oh, a multi-talented wingman. Iguodala is excellent at getting it to his guys. Here's Brunson. And it's been a while, but he finally gets one to go. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Garland, that's for two. Here's Mobley, and Cleveland again with the bucket. Well, you get a sense of the long reach of Evan Mobley. Get to the offensive window and put the put back in. Nicely done. Three-pointer, Randall. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Manning. Defended by DiVincenzo. Kicks it out to Garland. Mobley the pass to Thompson. Over Robinson. And Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist by Mobley. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Randall. Makes it off the glass. Randall's got four this quarter. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Garland against Brunson. Garland dishes to Mobley. And here's Iguodala outside. Nailed from three-point land. 
Iguodala's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Cleveland. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Achua is out there with Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's Hartenstein in at the center position. That's the five for New York right now. Runs in the pass to Hartenstein. They set the pick to the paint. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Harland with it, now guarded by Bogdanovich. And another three for Cleveland. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Brunson kicks to Hart. Hartenstein passes to Hart. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Randall comes in for Achua. Ananobi, he's checked in for Josh Hart. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Bogdanovich. Shot clock at five for three. And Julius Randle, good for three. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Here's Manning, defended by DiVincenzo. Garland, no good. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. Randall down low, covered by Mobley. Passes it to Brunson. Three-pointer, Randall. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Manning. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Kept alive. Mobley. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. What hustle from Evan Mobley. Knows his team, needs him to board it proficiently, gets to the glass. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Cleveland. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and One also shot. their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. New York's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Randall down low. Mobley's there. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. The 11-footer. That one doesn't drop. Cavaliers have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Manning. Defended by DiVincenzo. Garland the pass to Manning. They get it back. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now we can start talking about game four. What a magnificent effort and, and really a significant victory for the Cavaliers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And they're going to roll to their third straight victory to open up these conference finals, giving them a commanding series lead. Yeah, a sweep seems just about inevitable 
right now. And with the way they've been playing here in this series, they are building a ton of momentum for the finals, especially if they can close out the sweep in game four. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for the chosen one. No doubt he can't. to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Saw the opportunity to put this away and... Did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. And here's Iguodala outside. Another three for Cleveland. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. The pass to Manning. Here's the three. Here's Thompson. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. You know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Andre. A lot of great offensive players on this team. How does it all come together to have a night like tonight? Well, we know our defense is our catalyst to everything for our team. So as long as we play defense, get stops, rebounding was most important tonight. You know, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the league. Uh, we, got, we were able to do that and get out on the break. You made the most of it when you had those opportunities, Andre. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, thanks again. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Ulrich, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, The Chosen One. Lavish, lavish, lavish. Swear you live lavish. I tried to give you the world, then God told me you shouldn't have it. I've been a savage, got skeletons all in my attic. Yeah. This thing ain't free if you pay him a fee, then it'll vanish. Yeah. Vanish. I might just vanish to Paris. Balcony in the morning, I'll risk it all with the batters. Yeah. The whole things are done. I swear I didn't mean it with malice. Wait. Unless you're the opposite, stop praying, leaves you. The Eastern Conference Finals, Game 4. The Cavaliers have a commanding 3 0 series lead. Is it time for their dreams to be realized? For their thirst to be quenched? Find out tonight as they do battle against the Knicks. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Welcome back to the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. The battle for the East has been a runaway 3-0 series, but that could all change tonight in Game 4. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. So 
Donovan Mitchell out there with Kevin Porter. Then it's Jared Allen. Then it's Montrez Harrell. And it's the chosen one. In at the three. And for the Knicks, Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three slot. You take a look at the Knicks, and they're looking at a quick exit from the conference finals if they can't get the job done tonight. I mean, you're right, B.A. This game tells you a lot about a team's character. Faced with almost an impossible job, do they pack up and head home? Motivation's an issue when your back is against the wall. the Cavaliers to start out. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. Right wing. And he lobs it up top. And a big finish by Robinson. A timing play, but it helps to have a leaper like Mitchell Robinson finish it up. Robinson against Porter. Let's it go from the wing. Here's Allen. Good work defensively by Robinson. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Randall outside. Outside Ananobi. Randall inside. Harrell on him. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul charge to Montreal. So, that's his first personal, first team foul. Julius Randle at the line. Ooh, one shot. And Randle, no good on that one. During his. breakout season with the Knicks Julius Randle I think has another level to his game it's about that consistency he's trying to get to he's an all NBA caliber player when he gets it going Harrell finds Mitchell outside for Porter let's go with a three it's hauled in by Robinson that's 0 for 4 now time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down outside Ananobi Pass to Randall. This one for three. On target from range. Randall's got five now. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. Brunson against Porter. Shoots from 12. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Cleveland has gone 1 or 2 from three-point land so far. Here's Manning. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Stolen by Mitchell. Fast break. Cleveland jumps up. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. Oh, guys. I mean, this crowd is in all of that Mitchell dunk. Heck, I'm in all too. Tries to spin move. New York, no good that time either. For Cleveland, they've gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Here's Manning. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Tone setting right here early. Love that tenacity. McBride, he's checked in for New York. as the free throw drops in for him. A minute 35 left in the first. Randall against Harrell. Randall, the pass to DiVincenzo. 
Here's McBride. Handle a screen on Porter. The teardrop. McBride can't get it to go. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys. Just flat out blew it. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Mitchell's got his second bucket on the night. I always wonder about those bigger guys, how much easier a read is like that, and Allen finds the open guy set up to shoot it. Now a timeout called by New York. Going with almost an entire new group here. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Josh Hart comes in for Ananobi. Boyan Bogdanovich checked in for DiVincenzo. And Milton subbed in for McBride. Here's Hardenstein. Pass to Bogdanovich. Offensive rebound. Hartenstein, no good. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's Manning. And the layup is good off the glass. Manning's got five points. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Randall. He's got five. To snap the cold streak. Pass to Milton. Five to shoot. Hartenstein a screen. Milton passes to Hartenstein. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And that does it for the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. Up by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And we're back with more action from the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Cleveland. They've made an effort to get out and run, using their speed and transition and scoring before the defense can get set. Well, sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. On the court for the Cavaliers, we've got Jared Allen. Kevin Porter is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Montrez Harrell. And it's the chosen one in at the small forward position. It's stolen by Hart. To the paint. Here's Burks. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Good decision there by Bogdanovich. Solid at noticing when the defenses overcommit. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Oh! Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Burks finds Brunson. Hartenstein a screen. Tipped away. Left side Bogdanovich. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bogdanovich has got this first bucket of the night. With all the work he does on the perimeter, you can't forget about Bogdanovich inside. From deep, Mitchell. The Knicks with the rebound. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Brunson misses. The Cavaliers leading. Pulls it. 
Porter gets the bucket. Porter's got his second bucket on the night. Yeah, good up-tempo play by Porter. Getting a little room and pulling up fast. Brunson passes to Hartenstein. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. He's batting. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. A big group substitution here for New York. Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Randall comes in for Hart. And Anobi, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's DiVincenzo in for Burks. For New York, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Robinson, a screen on Mitchell. Here's Brunson. Brunson, tough one up close. You always hear about the toughness of Brunson. He really comes through when he's taking defenders on inside. And here's Porter outside. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Pass to Randall. Outside Ananobi. Outside Brunson. Jacks up a three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got four rebounds now from deep Mitchell. Randall pulls down the board. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Brunson. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Up top, Porter. Checked by Randall. Here's Manning. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Ananobi. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Shot by Manning. No good. New York trailing. The smart play. Wait and take the final shot. And every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Here's DiVincenzo. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. That'll count. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Cleveland finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their play has earned them a nice lead, one they'll look to build on as the game continues. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Thibodeau and Coach, the rebounding differential not in your favor. What do you see? Well, they're going every time. And we got to put a body on people. Then go get it. Got to increase that effort level. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us for game four. At the half, some ground to make up for the New York Knicks. I haven't really seen the effort from them in terms of rebounding. In fact, at times, they're getting straight bullied. And that's certainly costing them right now. But effort is something you have control over. We'll see how they come out in the second half. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series, they're 0 for 3 in the series. Kenny, what should they do to stave off elimination? They got to take a long look in the mirror and figure out which vacation spot oh! they're going. Because, in other words, they're toast, Ernie. Listen, I don't need to break out the crystal ball. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. 
Without question, Kevin Porter displaying his skills today. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. That's the five for New York right now. The shot's good. Now, guys don't want to guard someone like Jalen Brunson. He just keeps coming. Cleveland shooting the ball at 48% so far. Quarter from outside. They grab their own miss. Allen drops in the layup for two. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. And they just continue to dominate the boards. DiVincenzo against Mitchell. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there's the whistle. Foul on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Dante DiVincenzo at the line. Two shots. That free throw no good from DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo, I think, is starting to take a lot of pride in the fact that he could do a lot of little things for the basketball team that add up. He scores, he can get some rebounds, and get some assists. He's a weapon. And then Porter with the dunk. Oh, and there is the talent. Porter Jr., a highly skilled young player. And New York shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. Handle the screen on Porter. Randall outside. Brunson looks it over. Low block shot. Rejected by Allen. How about the length from the big guy? Enables him to guard just about anybody, anywhere. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That's his first foul. First for the foul. First team foul. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Eight-point game. Pass to Ananobi. Randall outside. 90 seconds into the second half now. Outside Brunson. Here's Robinson. Just five on the clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I think there are a lot of big men in this league who don't realize that Mitchell Robinson has that kind of quickness. They end up fouling him quite a bit. Now a timeout called by New York. Timeout, New York. During the playoffs, the NBA leaders in shooting from the floor. Third is Donovan Mitchell. Since we started the playoffs, he's been totally locked in offensively, taking and making some good looks. That free throw misses. A lot of people like Mitchell Robinson because he does what he's told to do, and that is stay in the lane. It's where he does a lot of damage, both defensively and offensively. He hits the second from the line. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Here's Manning. Had an OB covering. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. The first one falls. And the Knicks making a change here. Hart's checked in. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, does it just last for tonight? This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Randall, a screen on Porter. Brunson, the shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from Harold. And his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. 
It's Robinson, high post. He's against Allen. He got a piece of it. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And Harrell throws it down. Now that's a little something extra from Montrez. The Knicks have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Randall against Harrell. Randall, the pass to Hart. It's tipped. Here's Harrell. Here's Allen. Pass to Manning. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. Manning's got six points in the quarter. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Shot to stop the run. Brunson misses. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this. Offensive set where they're allowing him to settle in. Sneak it inside. It's Brunson. An incredible job, Brunson, just measuring off that floater. The Cavaliers have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Manning. He's got 14. Allen can't get it to go. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Brunson passes to DiVincenzo. Three-pointer, no good. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Cavaliers ahead. They lead by 13. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Montrez Harrell is out there with Jared Allen. Then there's Kevin Porter. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's the chosen one in at the three spot. And something you'd never like to see. But guys, he definitely looks hurt. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training. Eat right, train right. But at the end of the day, it's pretty random. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Okoro's checked in. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson against Porter. Achua with a screen on Porter. Brunson. No luck on that one. Nice D from Allen. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now Harold. The three from Okoro. Hart pulls it in. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And it's Allen who slams it home. 
And this is the threat that Allen gives you on the interior. Gets great position and then just jams it through. Achua with a screen on Porter. Brunson passes to Achua. Oh, great D that time from Harold. And it's Mitchell with a ball for Cleveland. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Look at Mitchell's commitment to his shot. Doesn't let the contact slow him down. Now a timeout called by New York. We know you want one. So make the noise. Going with almost an entire new group here. Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Julius Randle comes in for Achua. OG Ananobi's checked in for Hart. And it's DiVincenzo in for Bogdanovich. Nick's shooting just 34% so far in this one. And here's Brunson from the arc. And again, the Knicks missing. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Okoro on the wing. Takes a three. The shot comes out. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And Anobi finds Brunson. There's the double team with Porter. Outside Robinson. Pass to Randall. Randall, a screen on Mitchell. Four on the clock. To stop the run. And it's Randall that time. On the assist by DiVincenzo. Well, improving his three-point range and confidence and rhythm from the three-point line, that's opening up some things for Julius Randle. Sends it home from three-point land. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Not a secret that Brunson can turn it on offensively, so the defense can't give him that much cushion. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. And not to mention, they're playing with great, great activity. A lot of blocked shots, good hands, active hands, nothing easy for the opposition. Both free throws, good from Brunson. Well, the lefty listed at six foot one, Jalen Brunson. It's a bit of a different matchup. He's just so physical, and he can play on and off the ball. Dare I call it funky? Okoro, no good. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And Ananobi gets it to go. There aren't many feelings like this in sports. Knowing you've earned a trip to the NBA Finals, a special moment for the Cavaliers. A pair of tremendous rebounding teams. And these guys played a little harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. 
Boy, what an impressive showing from them here in these conference finals. Right from the jump, they look like the more dominant and confident team, and they just steamrolled their way to a sweep in this one. And there was never any doubt who the best team in this series was. They didn't just beat their opponent, they decimated them. Not even allowing them to win one game in this series. They have to feel good about themselves heading into the NBA Finals. And what a huge performance it was for the chosen one. Oh, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Oh, poked away. Stolen by Mitchell. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Allen with a screen on DiVincenzo. The three. Second chance effort. And here's Porter outside. Gets the three to fall. And they came in here with some attitude. And they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And so the Cleveland Cavaliers have won the series. And you look at the reaction there, so obvious from looking at them, just how important this achievement is, not to just the players, but this franchise. They've got their hands on the conference championship trophy, and this puts them in great position to make history. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close, B.A., to completing their mission, it's easy to look ahead. But winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself, you hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the finals, they'll be here before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you later.